Hello and welcome. This is Miles McGinn, and I wanted to share with you some examples for how a teacher can use an LMS to create differentiated content. In this particular activity, students have the choice of a variety of different media sources regarding a specific topic. The specific topic in this course is climate science, and students are asked to analyze different physical signs of current climate change. The opener is a hook where the whole class would analyze a picture together or a series of pictures. Here is the same location in Argentina over the course of 80 years and um, there are some directions below. After a class discussion, the students would open up a document here that would uh, serve as a note catcher for the different types of information that they might gather below. Below there are um, videos this one is produced by NASA. Uh, this is produced by NBC and it's about thawing permafrost and the scientist is discovering methane sources that are being released from the thawing of the, the permafrost. Here's a neat one. This is an interactive website produced again by NASA. And the students would click through the website to see the uh, collapse of an ice sheet. Uh, sheet. There's information down here that they could peruse through and so forth. And uh, many more videos uh, from oceanographers and from scientists and all over the world regarding these uh, physical changes that are being reported. And again, the students would uh, analyze those different media sources. They only need to analyze four so they can take their choice and they would record the information that they find on this guided note document, they'd include the title of the media, description, a summary, and finally a reflection or a reaction uh, regarding what they've learned. We're going to jump back and show uh, or expose one more example. In a later unit, Students are going to investigate and evaluate the challenges related to climate change and its impact on civilization, wildlife, agriculture, and uh, just general changes altogether. This activity is similar in that the students would download this note catcher regarding global impacts and then they would upload their notes into this assignment when complete. But before that, they would be required to open up each of these folders and analyze two media sources within each. So altogether they would have to analyze eight different pieces of media. Now each folder has a wide variety of different topics that the students can choose from. Here's a, a, a short video on wildlife and wildlands from an EPA scientist, another scientist on wildlife and society, uh, polar bear issues, mountain gorillas, even a biologist working for Ducks Unlimited cold water fish article, pine beetles, and so forth and so on. Here are different migration habits that are changing because of a changing climate. Another important one is this one in agriculture. I really like this one because it's not necessarily just scientists reporting out, but some of these articles are also uh, from farmers. So here are some farmers uh, that are discussing how the climate changes are affecting their crop yields. Here's a, a short video about a spear fisherman in Indonesia and uh, he's describing differences in the ocean ecosystem and how it's affecting his ability to fish for his family. And here's another primary interview from a farmer in Indonesia discussing how the crop yields are different uh, and they're not as productive as it, they have been in the past. So students have choice through all of these, and uh, as they, after they complete that downloaded document, they would upload it back to the teacher. One benefit of an activity like this is it gives students a lot of great choice, but it also, uh, you know, it's reassuring to the teacher because the teacher selected all this great media and is reassured that anything that the student picks will be a quality piece of information and that all the students will come to a similar outcome uh, throughout their research. Once students have completed their research, a uh, teacher could provide extensions such as turning to the neighbor and, and discussing uh, some of the different articles. Uh, they could have a, a whole class discussion 
um, re relating some of the different media pieces and, and first-hand experiences that are conveyed by all of this. Or, you know, another option would be to use the discussion board or a blog within the LMS to get students to share their experience and uh, do some cross-collaboration and cross-discussion uh, to some more challenging, like, upper-level Bloom's Taxonomy type prompts. So there's a lot of uh, a lot of possible extensions beyond just using a note catcher, but that's a good way to really uh, facilitate uh, students being on task as they explore these different media types. Thanks, and I hope that gives you some different ideas for how you, an LMS supports differentiated content and student choice.